six percent that is proposed it has to be a tripartite agreement the fke the workers and the government must all agree to that rate as we speak the president just picked up a figure of nowhere and proposed it it wasn't, a, it wasn't figure, a speech it well I mean, the speech writers put a figure as a, there's, a, there's a process in that tariff for, for putting that speech yes together. yes so that means some persons will have to work backward to fit that figure in the mathematics. Now remember we've had 1.5 percent taken out. But, 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 and business. I'm sorry for cutting you short at this mm -hmm. particular point. Uh, but we do know, uh, mm -hmm. especially how uh, President's speech is going to this country, this official speech that is people in English, mm -hmm. gentlemen, that is the one that has come from the speech writer that is tabled at the President's office. Mm -hmm. and, and there's the second one, where now the President is essentially speaking to the people of Kenya. Mm -hmm. Now, keen to note that that particular statement was done in Swahili. We do know that at the point where the president gets into Swahili, is now addressing wananchi kwa lugha mbayo watailewa. All right? Is, is it okay to postulate that that was President Ruto's wish? Was well, it? I would say, you see, before, there is what is written. Does it? And there are sometimes the persons who speak in those committees and they advise that this could be working out. Remember, Koto suggested 22.5 percent. Right. That is based on the current rates of inflation, and as per the assessment of the economy, as mm -hmm. per what has happened. Yes. So Koto does not come with these figures out of the blues. They've sat down, they've analyzed the inflation rates, and the last time the the increments had happened, that's 2022, all the way to today, and that comes to about 22.5 percent. Yes. Then factor in the rates of higher taxations, the 1.5 the housing and the 2.75 percent that is proposed towards the social health insurance act now this is about five percent deduction so even with proposal the president saying i give you six he has already taken out five already because 1.5 plus 2.75 that's about 12 point something that's towards five so it's probably an increment of one percent it's like a hundred shillings increment it doesn't make sense so whatever was being talked about yesterday was just seduction to just tell you that we're doing well I'm taking care of your interest and we, we, we are going okay. But the issues are not being addressed as they are. Kenyans are facing such hardships that they must be safeguarded in whatever they're facing through. Yes. So the employers, they're also exposed on their end. So I don't know how we're going to fix these issues, but the cost of taxation, the cost of living has gone up. Now, if everyone was to be affected, that should be the way to go. We start from the high earners. They go down and not to increase issues in the sector, we're not able to meet the, 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 those, those costs, like yes. the issues of the CASS. They're being appointed, they're getting all these benefits. Well, we say the budgets are negligible for them, but that should not be happening when you're having all these issues happening in the whole economy. So we should all be undergoing that cost-saving measure. Yes. All of us, not just pick on the doctors. Why, yes. why not pick on the police? Yes, why not pick on the judges? Why not pick on the MCAs? Why pick on the junior doctor? The whole country. And this junior doctor is about that 200 number. And if there are many of them, that's about a thousand. So why pick on that little to just try and safeguard the economy? It doesn't make sense. So someone is being dishonest about the whole that's game that is being played around. Does that? Yes. Marcy, <clears throat> that particular.